It's all about Afrobeats. Now, Diamond Platinum's my man. We caught up with him. The king of the bongo, young famous in Africa, all types of conversation we had. Let me tell you something. You, you know you're my bro. Yes. You know I love you. Yes. And 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 I know you. <laughs> so when I'm watching a show called Young Famous in Africa, which basically, you know, um, depicts a story of six or seven talented entrepreneurs across the continent of Africa, you know, all connected to each other and us having a look into their lives, their private lives. Some of them are single, some are married, some are stylists, some are musicians, others are just our, our wives, you know, uh, radio presenters, DJs. And of course, we also had a superstar in there called Diamond Platinum, who was there with his ex-wife and his children and his potential side ch chick <laughs> or oh, I don't know mistress I don't know what we want to call it I personally feel that you should have featured on the show more I don't know the reason behind that maybe you're just too busy a lot of people have said it they felt yeah. that we didn't get enough of Diamond Platinum yeah. on this because you were the biggest star on there yes. with all due respect with everybody yes. else yes. of course we had the, the legend that is too baba yes, we came to feature on there but I wanted to follow you to Tanzania I wanted yes. to follow you to, to the east see you doing what you do in Zanzibar and yeah. you know all the other places you know because that's your territory yes, we, needed, right. we needed to see you maybe that's in part two I don't know yeah you're right, right you're right it's just uh I think because I was busy working on my album and, yeah uh this EP have dropped so yeah it was a little bit hard because why I was supposed to do that for more than three months and then I had to do it for just a month right but then don't worry the one coming I mean all of the episodes Oh, you're in oh, because I was about to protest. <laughs> but you've given me you've, gi you've given me a good reason why yeah, you couldn't yeah, make all the episodes. Was in there for, was just we were. I, I was I was a little bit busy. Yeah, yeah. And then I was supposed to be to the whole episodes, but then I, I, I couldn't be able to due to the album I was working on. But then on the next season coming, I'll be an all episode. All right, we'll, 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 we'll leave that to the side. Your EP, yes, fantastic. I appreciate my. Brother. I'm not just saying this as your brother, but I think you know you, you you're really. Strong stretching your arms and collaborating with the right people giving us the right sounds first of all yes why the name first of all well as i said i was working on my album yeah but then after getting down with my album i found out that i've got a lot of it right then i say like there's no way i can drop an album at the same time dropping second album so yeah. you know what before the album let me drop an ep first right so first of all i give you guys an ep then after that the album coming yes so we decided to take a few of the songs that you say like you know this song we don't want them so we're gonna put them on the ep yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 you're a modest guy because you know you've done a, and there's so there's been hits after hits you know, um, in the past few years, with so many big artists, of course, yes. and one of our own, Fali Pupa. Oh, uh, you brother. guys, one of the biggest. Then you went to the younger yes. Inos B. Yes, one of the biggest hits that's ever come out of Africa. For real, you know, um, <laughs> you, real. you touched that song and took it to another <laughs> level. And Inos, I remember when I went to Congo, and Inos B said to me, "Bro, the big bro handled everything." Yes. As soon as we landed. He said, right, listen, we need to make sure we dress like this. Had the yeah. style sorted, everything. Yeah. The next day we're shooting the video. There was no long thing. I, and that's exactly what Kofi Olomide said about you again. Yes. That's a big legend. The way you, you look after these guys, yes. you know, when, when they get to uh, to your home and For not real. just about the music, but the yes. hospitality. Yes. You know, you have, a, you have a good reputation on that side. For real. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this. To me, I respect everybody. Yeah. And then for me, being a musician doesn't make me look, uh, does, you know, I don't know, maybe others, if they're musicians, they make them feel like maybe they're special. I don't take myself special. I feel like it's one, it's like the way there's different people, like there's the videographers, there's yes. the directors, there's presenters, there's comedians. There. Everybody has a like, role. Yeah, so it's like, this is my role, so I have to respect it and I have to respect others so that they can complement to my, like my role or to my, like so that they can help me to get there. What's the best thing about being young, famous and African? What would you say is the best thing that you've experienced? I think I think you get opportunity to express yourself when it comes to represent your continent mm. as a young and African kid sometimes I can have my thought that I wish I can tell the world about how maybe you want to, re to talk anything about the continent and all that so now it's very easy become very easy for me to address something a positive message to the world because I'm well known Diamond <laughs> Platinums, it's been a pleasure, my brother. Thank you for joining us, man. It's the official UK Afrobeats chart show with the king of the East. Now I'm becoming the king of the world, to be fair. Oh, bro, you know, young, famous, and African bro. Diamond Platinums, man. It's been a pleasure. It's Adi Kadi. It's one extra. Afrobeats Spotlight. Oh,